Welcome back everyone. Hello, my name is Amy if you're brand new here. In today's video, I wanted to share another orange unboxing. Yes, I do have a few more purchases from Hermes. These are actually items that I have already bought a while ago. I had pre-ordered them, paid for them, and was just waiting for them to be stocked. These also make really, really great gifts if you're looking to buy anything for your loved ones. And speaking of which, of course, Mother's Day is coming up and today's video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. I wanted to feature these beautiful initials bracelet first because they are just adorable and they make really really great gifts not only for Mother's Day but for any occasion to be honest and I have three initials right here to show you I stack them on one arm and they do come in different lengths so as you can see I made it the tightest on top I chose initial A for myself and these two I plan on gifting them to my sister-in-law because her two children are initials C and E but it just so happens that I have Ace these are made of recycled sterling silver also plated in gold all the little stones there they are very dainty and so well made they make a really pretty stacking piece if you want to buy multiples of them i've been wearing it for the past hour just to see how they look like when they're all mixed up like this and even then it's so so fun the second item i wanted to feature is on my neck and it is again another really dainty beautiful piece fresh water pearls throughout beautiful layering piece i love how understated it is but it's also substantial in a way it's kind of funny because it's so delicate and it just kind of hangs around your neck so beautifully right now i have it on the shortest setting i also got another pair of these earrings although i'm wearing a different pair these ones i got a while ago but i never had a chance to show you guys i think of all the huggies that i've gotten from Ana luisa these are probably my favorite pair because they're so refined and they are just so stunning and understated at the same time and they feel so comfortable as for these ones on my ears i got them a while ago i actually got them over the holidays these are little chain links with crystals on it as well and again they are 925 sterling silver all made of recycled silver and they are just sophisticated Ana Luisa has already started doing their Mother's Day sale so starting from today you can shop their website it's a buy one get a second one piece for 40% off it's a great time to shop for your loved ones or for your mother or for even yourself actually so make sure that you check out the links down below all right we're back to the main event three of these boxes right here that are all identical size and yeah let's go ahead and unbox it really beautiful orange box i'm sure you guys are familiar by now so these ones i ordered them wow a long time ago i don't even remember exactly when uh it was probably early december these items i have asked so many times at my local store they um probably just never have them i don't know maybe i'm just there at the wrong time when they don't have it or maybe they just don't have many of those or maybe they just don't sell them individually or they don't like to sell them individually to clients i don't know what it is so i actually ended up ordering these online uh, which is fine because i buy the items that i love and it doesn't matter if it's not part of the quota whatever i just really really wanted to get my hands on this let me show it to you first yes it's a plate from the mosaic it's just called a small tray online if you type small tray on their search bar but i know a lot of people refer these to the sushi plate because um i don't know it's just the size of a sushi plate i suppose and uh believe me i will use them <laughs> i will use it to eat sushi actually but a lot of people also use it to feature their jewelry on it. It's really beautiful and apparently it's hand painted. I'm not sure exactly if it is true, but if it is, I'm not surprised because uh, as I said, I ordered several of them and they all look different. Even this side here also has the painting and of course on the back, you've got the branding and on the bottom right here there's a little symbol and apparently this symbol represents the person the artisan that made it so this is the very first one this one is the gold color this is the second one Ooh. we will unbox all of them so i only have three because i actually gifted one already to my good friend cat and so here i have a silver one 
This is how the silver one looks like. I'll do a side by side for you guys. Maybe that'll help you decide which color to get. I couldn't decide for myself whether I prefer the silver version or the gold version more. But look at the bottom. You see this little symbol here is different on this one. And of course the edge. This one is a little hat which is super cute actually. There you have it, the silver or the platinum version versus the gold version. Um, they're both really pretty so uh, that's why I had such a hard time choosing which one I actually wanted. Uh, I already knew I was gonna gift one but uh, as for myself I couldn't decide and I ended up ordering four of them. So this last one is uh, of course just the exact same thing and this one is in silver since I gifted one of the gold one away. This is the back of this one in the shape of the lips. It's so cute, right? The little, even the little symbol is just so like the attention of detail is just amazing. Many people do feature their jewelry on this, which we can do a little bit of that. I'll do some close-up shots, of course, with some of the pieces that I featured today. Homeware is one of the most popular department um, apparently that people shop at because they do make exquisite, exquisite homeware and this is just a small little collection of mine and I'm glad that I have two that are exactly identical so I can actually use them as dinnerware and I have one gold one that could be my display my jewelry display one for sure when I ordered them it said that there is possibly a six month delay sure enough after I put in my order a few days later I got an email from their customer service notifying me that it can take up to 12 months which is insane actually so I'm just glad that it did not take 12 months it did get here like I said, I don't remember. It was at least several, several weeks before I got them. I totally get the hype why these sushi plates are so, so popular because I know a lot of people do use them to feature their jewelry. I'm not sure if I'll end up doing that, maybe. Um, but um, I can see how it can become really addictive because it's so beautiful. It makes such beautiful dinnerware and it's just a bougie way of using them as they are intended. So um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Here is my second item, which I um, purchased in full back in January. So I paid the item in full in order to secure the item because again, there was no stock. And if I did not put a deposit in full, then chances are by the time they do arrive to the store, and if I'm not there at that time, it would be sold out. So that's why I did put a full deposit when I decided to get this piece. And it finally arrived. So let me share with you what I got here. Yes, it is a piece of jewelry because it does come in another box. This is their brown leather box. And these are pretty tight actually. <laughs> the first time I unboxed it, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't open it. So I got this beautiful necklace. This is the Farandal pendant in 18 karat rose gold. And before you ask me this next question, which is where's your Koda bag, Amy? Where's your Birkin? I hope it's coming. I'm just as anxious as you, so um, I'm hanging in there, okay? But in the meantime, I am buying whatever really catches my eye and this piece is definitely one of them. I am definitely gonna be buying more and more of their fine jewelry. I do have two of their pieces. I do have this ring and this ring, which I can do a side-by-side -side comparison because I do find that the rose gold tone is so different, even though it does come from the same fashion house. And I think I noticed that even with Cartier, um, just based on my own research. But anyway, I wanted this piece because I wanted to add a necklace where I don't have to remove when I shower. So I basically an everyday piece, but that is so understated. And sometimes I can just put it under my shirt if I'm wearing my pearl necklace from Chanel, for example. I want it to be a piece that is easily layerable and I don't want it to be so weighty. Um, like some of the pendants that are really beautiful, like the, the bag pendants or just a very chunky pendant, they're really beautiful and they even have 
diamonds on, but I didn't want those because I own a locket from LV in the past and I found that every time I bend down, it would just like knock my teeth out or, <laughs> uh, you know, I just didn't want a piece that was too substantial. I wanted a piece that was nice. It was still, it's still substantial, but that is still so light in a way that I can layer and wear other pieces with it. This piece I have asked several times in the past, believe me, and every time it was never in stock. And I was always told that if I wanted it, that um, I should just put a full deposit, which I never did it in the past because I didn't want to wait. But this time I decided to just go with it because I really just wanted the piece. I wanted to just have it on my neck and uh, I was willing to wait for it. So when I put the deposit down, I was told that it would be probably two to three months wait, which um, it was a little faster than two months, which is great. So I'm really glad that I went ahead with it. As you can see, one side has engraved Hermes. The pendant itself is quite simple. It's just their Shendong design. It does have a bit of substance, but again, like I said, it's not so heavy that it will knock my teeth out, I feel. And you see why I wore these earrings instead? Because they kind of remind me of the fact that they're like chains, right? The Shandong. So, you know, they don't, they don't go exactly together, but that's fine. I don't mind mix and matching. And there are two settings, but they're pretty close together. It doesn't make a ton of difference in my opinion. I have already been wearing the piece and so I can already tell you that I do love it which is hence the mini review. I have been just wearing it underneath uh, my shirts and sometimes I even layer my Chanel necklace on top because even with this necklace, right, it doesn't compete too much and I can definitely wear both together. I can definitely still layer more of the other jewelry that I have, costume or fine. And I like that sometimes, uh, of course, today I'm wearing a crew neck, but if I was wearing a, a V-neck, it would really be a, a beautiful centerpiece that shows up and it's still delicate and it's still very everyday, but on days that I just, you know, I mean, I don't want to remove it. I don't want to forget it. I just can hide it underneath my, my shirt and still go about my day. That is one of the reasons why I like my jewelry, even if they're like little pieces like this, to be gold plated because I don't have to worry so much if I get get them wet or whatnot. And same with this little bracelet, this eight initials. I've been wearing it for a while. I wash my hands. I wear my watch on top. A lot of you do ask me, what do I think of Hermes jewelry and whether you should go with Hermes or Cartier rose gold. Honestly speaking, they are similar, but they can be different. And personally speaking, I don't mind it when the rose gold tone is slightly different because at the end of the day, they just sort of blend in with my skin tone anyway. So just to show you two rings that I own from Hermes, and they were bought in the exact same year, just a few months apart, uh, and they look very different. Slightly hard to show, but I can tell you in person that the Kelly ring has a lighter rose gold than the... Collier de Chien. I don't know if you can tell them side by side. Pretty hard to tell, but I will say the necklace part, so the chain part, is definitely more copper than the charm itself. The charm is a lighter rose gold, and even these rings here, if they were side by side, this one is definitely more coppery. At the end of the day, once you wear it on your fingers, and it, it just sort of all blends in together because this one is from Cartier, this one is from Cartier, this one is from um, Hermès, and um, yeah, so this Hermès ring, this Kelly ring, is definitely a lighter rose gold, don't you think? Compared to my Justin Clou, my Justin Clou is more coppery. And depending on the reflection too, it can look different. Uh, and with the love bracelet, it's very commonly known that the more you wear it, since I never remove it, and I've had it for almost a year now, uh, that it actually becomes more yellow. And I do agree with that because it definitely has become more yellow over time. Obviously with Hermes jewelry compared to Cartier, for example, 
you don't get the same after service like you don't get the free cleaning you don't get the free extensions you know they do jewelry very well and they do beautiful pieces but they are not a jewelry company right so unlike Cartier you are buying them for the designs you are perhaps buying them for pre-spend that's my unboxing reveal today these are things that i have bought a while ago but i just couldn't unbox them because i uh, don't have the item until just recently until i got the call that they arrived are you a fan of gold mosaic or are you a fan of the platinum mosaic don't forget to check out anna luisa for their mother's day sale like i said they are doing a buy one get one 40 percent off so definitely take advantage if you're brand new to my channel don't forget to subscribe because i would love to have you back you can also support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive content Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!